Hello, bravs. We're back with more books. New book arrivals number 186. Didn't really feel like doing this tonight since I have books to read on here, but I have an early work scheduled this week starting tomorrow. So I'm going to lose at least an hour of my prime reading time, which is when I usually read. It's between one and two, but Apparently, that's not allowed this week. Um, so, let's do this. Plus, I have a the big book sale of the year on Thursday. So, I will probably have 50 new books if I'm lucky. Even though I got $100 out of the bank to buy 200 We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm not going to have time for that. Anything on Thursday. So let's go. Is it the Bermuda Triangle or the Devil's Triangle? Limbo of the Lost by John Wallace Spencer, which is one of these cases of missing ships and stuff like that. Supposedly taken by taken by the vortex out in the Atlantic Ocean. Although I don't know if this one look the ghost ships, buddy. Who knows what it is. Warriors Forest of Secrets. As I said, my child was a rabid devourer of these books back in the day, and I purchased many. And I'm not sure what happened to them. I'm sure they've been traded in for different stuff at the bookstore. But I'm buying them again just in case at some point. Said child says, I want these books again, bruv. And then I will have them. I will have them. Prehistory, The Making of the Human Mind by Colin Renfrew. Or is it Colin Renfrew? Keep seeing this book. At the store, nobody wants it. It's not worth all that much. Six, seven bucks. Which, by the way, I've sold a... J.D. Vance book tonight after the debate, which I watched about four seconds of. And yeah, so that paid for all these books today. I figure if I make seven or eight bucks off the book, which I think I did, that pays for all these. So basically all these books were free thanks to J.D. Vance, who I now have three or four copies of his book. He'll build the allergy. Prehistory, the making of the human mind. What's this even about? The award-winning archaeologist and renowned scholar Colin Renfrew covers human existence before the advent of written records. The overwhelming majority of our time here on Earth and gives an incisive, concise, and lively survey of the past. Theory of the past. He doesn't know what the hell happened. No one does. Nobody. The Magic of Candle Burning by Jarena Dunwich. Speaking of that, I got that candle too, free thanks to J.D. Vance and the sale of his book. Someone slice this book, you son of a bitch. This book has a 1960s look to it, but it has an ISBN, and it had a border sticker on it, so I'm not sure what that's about. Magic is a powerful tool, a tool made even more potent through the ancient art of candle burning. Candle burning is a force that combines psychic energy with the powers of the will to produce supernatural effects. There's your supernatural, bruv. Like sweet Sibel, I wear a crown of fire around my head. Like Diana, blessed goddess wise, I light the candles red to shine a light upon my prayer for peace on earth and love. Oh, hear me, spirits of the air, spirits below and spirits above, so mote it be. Right. With power of protection, I now charge thee Kain ein horror, so mote it be.
Is that where Ayn Rand got her name from? Witchcraft? Which is herbs and magic flowers. Fill this bag with healing power. Let the wearer of this charm be free of sickness, pain, and harm. So mote it be. Oh, Erzuli, lady of love. Sappho, speaking of ladies of love. Lovely ladies, loving ladies. Um, the poems of Sappho and others. Oh, it's of others. Well, that kind of... My airy pinions have I spread on flight to heaven above because of arrows for the lad will not requite my love. And when my beard he did behold, my aged grayish beard on wheezing pinions bright as gold, he quickly disappeared. To a maiden, love's brand. The nine lyric poets were a canon of ancient Greek composers, esteemed by the scholars of Hel Hellenistic and Alexandria. Crystal healing book and card pack harness a million years of earth energy. Batilli, Lister, and you get a little pack of cards. Harness a million years of energy, bruv. This book was never open. Look at this. Oh my god. Just grab a pumpkin beer, you goddamn neurotic. Jesus Christ. Does it have to be this difficult to live? No. The world after the fall. Undead Gamja. Number one. Original story by Sing and Song. Don't look back. One day without warning, gargantuan towers appear around the globe. Humanity's surprise and puzzlement soon turn to panic and terror as swarms of horrific monsters descend upon the world to wreak havoc. Mankind's only hope for survival rests on Jaywan and his fellow tower walkers who are tasked with one mission, climb to the top. Or so they believed, Jaywan begins to sense that things are not what they seem. They must trust no one but himself, as webs of deception threaten to ensnare him at every turn. Can Jaywan reach floor 100 and finally uncover the truth? Oh no, I don't think so, buddy. I've often stated that I believe manga especially in the prevalence of adult reading of this kind of stuff. And I can even understand even when you're like 18 to 21 before you just say, Hey man, maybe I should stop reading cartoons. But I mean, it's like the Illuminati pedophile cult indoctrination where cartoons are basically considered literature now literature in exactly 10 days i'll leave this place no you're gonna leave this place right now christ the lord out of egypt a novel by n rice obviously you know n rice and you know i'm not sure if she I think she did convert to Christianity, didn't she? I don't think that's why she wrote these books, but maybe she was like Bob Dylan in, in her Jesus phase. But I know I've seen the book where she like renounces the darkness or some bullshit like that. So maybe she was. I don't know. Thought I had this book. Maybe I only have it in. Look at that. I like how that glam. Pretty cool, bro. Pretty cool. Right. Stephen King, one of my least favorite authors, but collectible nonetheless for other reasons. Of Moolah. Ditto with from a Bu Buick 8, a novel. I actually owned this book before, and I don't know what I did with it. I probably still have it. 
Pompey Statler, perfectly laconic. Got a current laminate? Wanting to know if Frady's license to drive was currently valid? Ah, Ned peered frantically at the white letters on the blue screen. Right in front of you, kiddo, don't you see it? I held my breath. Then, affirmative, 12, you got it back three months ago. I let go of my breath. Beside me, surely let go of hers. This was good news for Eddie, too. Frady was legal and thus less likely to be crazy. That was the rule of thumb, anyway. 12 on approach, Eddie sent. Copy that. I mean, this is drivel. Is it at least first edition? I don't think it even is. Seth in Garamond number three from A Buick 8. I just don't understand. I mean, the whole point of reading is to read something that you've never, at least to me, the whole point of reading is to enlighten you. And something like this, I believe, dumbs you down to a level of stupidity that is better accomplished with movies. And I don't mind many, some of the movies that he made. We'll say that somewhere. I don't know if there was a movie made of this. It probably shouldn't be. But yeah, I don't consider this literature classic or anything. I just consider it an investment of 50 cents well, thanks to J.D. Vance. And I got paid to pick this book up. Yeah, so that's that. Goodbye, bruv. Goodbye.